Let us suppose that you want to display a dynamic list of JIRA issues on your Confluence page. To do this, type forward slash JIRA while editing a page, or plus and select JIRA. In the search text box, type the JIRA issue you are looking for. You can search by issue key, search URL, JIRA link, JQL, plain text, or a filter. Select the issues that you would like to display on your page. In our example, we will display all three JIRA-related issues. Optionally, select Display Options to customize how the JIRA issues should appear on the page. To edit the total number of issues that should be displayed in the search results, edit the Maximum Issues count. Similarly, you can choose the Total Issue Count option to display the count of issues on the page and edit the columns that should be displayed. Click Insert. The selected JIRA issues are displayed on your Confluence page. Click Publish. When you publish the page, the table with the specified columns and count is displayed. This is a dynamic list, which means as new issues get added to the project, they are reflected on your Confluence page when the page is refreshed. Next, we will see how to create JIRA issues in Confluence. On your Confluence page that you are editing, type forward slash JIRA or plus and select JIRA. Select Create New Issue from the left panel. Select the parent project for the issue and provide basic information about the issue in the issue type, summary, and description fields. When you click Insert, the issue is created in the JIRA project and an issue link is created on the Confluence page. Click Publish. When you publish the page, the JIRA issue is not only displayed on your page, but is dynamically added to the issue list. That brings us to the end of this video on adding JIRA issues in Confluence. In this video, you learned how to display a dynamic list of JIRA issues on your Confluence page, create JIRA issues in Confluence.